air fried Hooters wings at your house. And I mean, I've got their breading. I've got three of their sauces. I've got the medium, the hot, and the three mile. And I've also got some Nathan onion rings. And we're going to do all this at one time in my new Ninja Foodie dual zone or two basket air fryer that I've been using quite a bit. And, and I do like it a lot. I also went to a Hooters restaurant today and ordered uh, some wings to go, brought them home. Me and Baby Doll shared them, and I have some footage of that that I'm going to drop in and let you see how they look, you know, when it comes from the restaurant. So you'll have something kind of compare them to, to how they look when they've been air fried. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. Let's get this started. All right, here's what we're working with, and uh, they are chicken wing drumettes and portions that is how they've worded them but you can see what i've got there it looks like looks like drumettes and flats to me but that they referred to them as portions here is a ninja's air frying cooking chart from their from the book that came with it and uh it is uh chicken wings it says two pounds drumettes and flats one tablespoon of oil uh, 390 degrees and we're using the dual zone feature, so we'll need to somewhere around 43 to 47 minutes. So we'll have to adjust that a little bit because we're actually not using two pounds. And then, of course, the uh, onion rings. And I bought Nathan's uh, frozen onion rings because that's the only thing I've ever found that works real well in an air fryer is frozen ones. And maybe somebody's got a, a better way of doing it with fresh, but frozen is the only thing I've ever got to work. But here's what they call for, onion rings, 10 ounces, uh, 375, and in the dual zone, 18 to 22 minutes. So I'm going to take uh, these right here. Now I'm going to put them in and I'm going to spray them with my avocado oil and just kind of lightly coat them. And then I'm going to put as much as this as I think we need, which is Hooters wing breading. And you can kind of see if it'll focus uh, right there what they call for except this is for deep frying of course we're air frying so I'll adjust some of that uh, those temps and everything will be different but it is this is for five pounds and we've only got one and a half so I'm not gonna need all of that anyhow I'm gonna get that started and we'll come back all of that will be done so be back okay so here is where we are I put, uh, I took the wings and just dried them off with a paper towel. Then I sprayed them. I put them in, the, in this container. I sprayed them with the avocado oil, mixed them up real well. I put about a half a bag of, about half of that bag of the breading. And then I just rolled them around real good. And then I also take my hands and make sure that that's, you know, the breading's pressed in as best I can. But you can see. Out of a pound and a half, I, on, I had three wings I couldn't get in there, and all I was able to get in is ten wings. But And I also sprayed the basket. That's kind of just for cleanup. I, I sprayed the bottom of it and that uh, the uh, this thing right here, which is in there, by the way, this thing. That's in there. I sprayed it and the bottom of the basket. So right now, all we got to do, put this in, turn it on, select number two. That's the side they're on, obviously. I think it said 395 or 390, wasn't it? And I'm pretty sure it was 390. So we're going to select air fry. And it said uh, 42 to 47, I think it was. Well, we're going to do like 40 minutes, which is a lot. I I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be checking it with a temp as we go with my thermopan because that's a good bit of time for wings. But I'm going to go ahead and set it for 40, and we'll be watching it with a thermopan. And... Uh, we are off and running, and now when that gets down to a, the right amount of time, I have to look back. We're going to drop those frozen onion rings in. I'll be back. All right, so we're around uh, 12 minutes of cook time. I just want to show you what they look like because sometimes you want to spray them, and, and sometimes I do with, with, say, avocado oil. But let me say, if you give it, a, give it some time, a lot of times you see where that dry is. The chicken fat will somewhat melt and take care of that problem but we're going to see there's a lot of wings in there so we may need that 40 minutes right now i'll be back all right so we are coming up on the 20 minutes that they recommended for frozen wings there's what we're using and there's about half of them i'm not doing 10 ounces so i'll just have to kind of watch these also but i'm just going to put them in 
Kind of shake them down to where they're kind of flat. And it wanted 375. We got to select one. Uh, select air fry. We'll take it down to 375. Time will be. It's already at 20. Hit start. So we got onion rings working at the same time. Be back. We're gonna take a look at the wings right quick. We're gonna lose a few seconds of cook time, but no big deal. And you can see they're kind of crusting over. I'm not gonna spray them with avocado oil at this point, although you could, but I don't think they need it. We'll see in a minute. Okay, so we are coming up on roughly 30 minutes of cook time on those wings. So I'm going to select number two and pause that cook. And you can see it stopped the time. I'm going to open them up and I'm going to flip them. Well, I'll let you see them right quick. And, and they're, looking, they're looking good. I want to flip every one of them. And then I may do a temp check, but you know, I've been thinking, wings will handle more than the traditional 165. They just will. And uh, they, they're looking good on this side right here for sure. I mean, I think flipping them is gonna be right. And I may just go with Ninja's, uh, you know, around 40 minutes. So we'll, we may not worry so much about temp. Uh, I know they will be done. There's no doubt. And we don't have to worry about that because it's a, it's a dark meat. They're not like a breast. They will uh, handle temp a little bit better. So you see what I've got right there. I'm gonna show them to you and that took a little longer than I meant. But there they are, they look good. And remember, we're gonna be saucing them. So, hit that, they're back and running. I don't know if I'm gonna let them go the full 10 minutes, but we're gonna watch and see. They were definitely browning on the bottom better than the top. So what we're gonna do right now is shake these, just as simple as that. And I don't think they did anything other than that and I'm gonna let that go for a few more minutes. All right, so I've got these ready. This one's almost done. I've been pausing and stopping these and checking things. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it so you can see how to do it. Once you do that, it starts flashing. I'm gonna let these finish out their 16 seconds, but see that this particular one has paused and it's not counting anymore. There's a lot of theories, I guess you'd say. It's kind of like pork. You know, you take pork way higher than it's supposed to be and it's still okay. That's the way a Boston butt works. That's the way these work too. Now, in fact, let's get these out because they may need it. Let's look at them. No, they look fine. It has this tray in the bottom of this Ninja Dual thing and, and this dual zone. And one thing I do is I use something like this and hold that. And I think that's the best way to do it. That way you don't have to worry about it falling out. It shouldn't fall out, but sometimes they do. But I'm gonna get them sauced up and uh, make some of those YouTube pictures and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna test them, see how they are. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm about to drop in the clip because these have been in the refrigerator and it's really hard to tell. But I want you to look at the clip from me and Baby Doll where we shared lunch today and get an idea. This is one of the better ones to look at just because it's darker, I guess. It kind of shows it a little bit. And I'll even show this right quick. That, that's what I mean. It, this needs to be reheated. It's not a fair representation of what those are. But take a look at the video. I'm going to drop it in right here, and I'll be right back. All right, the best way I can think of to see how close my wings is to theirs is to go get some and take them home. That's what I'm doing. And right there they are. Uh, the, the car is already smelling like hot wings. All right, here are the Hooter wings for us to compare me and Baby Doll. <laughs> and I uh, see what else here. There's that's for the onion rings, which are probably right here. Which I got some. I want to try those too. Yep, they don't look bad. Uh, you can try them if you want now. And then I got four different flavors, although. Although I've only got three different flavors, I've got, wait, there's one more we got to get out. This must be, they didn't mark them, don't like that. This must be, that looks like Three Mile Island, and that makes that the medium, I believe. So let's see how those look. Oh, look, they got little wet naps. But anyhow, we're going to make this part as short as possible, but I want to show them the camera. Yep. That is hot and mild, and this is three mile and medium. So here's what they look like. There's a three mile, 
and uh, that is the that's gonna be hard for me to remember I don't remember I told them to give me what I have here is hot no I got mild medium hot and three mile so I think that one right there is the medium and this is the hot and uh, Whichever one I didn't say. What did I say? I can't <laughs> the remember. The mild. This is the mild and the medium. No, the mild and the hot. hot. I know it. This is going to be confusing. I can tell these are the hot. And then I'll show you right here. This will be the hot and the three mile. I'll, you can tell by the color. So I'm going to do, we got to make this quick because we got a lot to do here. But I'm going to taste the three mile right now. And that's this one. And it's good. I like the flavor. And it's not that hot. It's not. It's still three miles. Mm-hmm. It's not really burn you up hot. So, hmm. Mm. That's really what I want to see is how hot three mile was. Because that's what I have right here. I have three miles. So. It's got some kick to it. It does. It's going to, we're going to make this way too long if I don't hurry up. I'm going to go ahead and taste the hot because we're going to eat these for lunch. <laughs> I may save one or two to hold up side by side with my air fried ones. And then we'll also be able to taste them side by side. But this is mainly so we'll know what they taste like from the restaurant. And uh, hey, they're good. Hooters wing always are. Definitely not as hot. Oh, I agree. Not, they're a little bit. Now these aren't kill you hot. They're not tr tremendously hot, mm -mm. but there's a difference in those in mm -hmm. just those two, which is hot and three mile. And like I said, you I can like see the three mile. What'd you say? Mm. You I kind of like to have a little kick. Yeah, I think three mile might be. It's it's better than I was expecting. I don't usually like really really hot. I don't think you do either, do you? Not really, really. So. Let's try an onion ring because I got some onion rings we're going to try and do too. And uh, they're good. <laughs> Where's those napkins? Right here. Hmm. So we're going to finish eating lunch and save a couple of each maybe to compare to. So anyhow, you can see I'm ready right there. All we got to do is get everything going. Be back in a minute. All right, so you kind of get an idea what it's like to eat lunch with me and baby doll. <clears throat> and uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. The wings were excellent. I, I had mentioned in there trying to do a comparison right now. That would not be fair. These have been in the refrigerator for about eight hours. And uh, she's already went to bed. I would love to have her here to try these to give her opinion. But uh, she, already, she already went to bed. we got a busy day tomorrow. And what I'll say also, the Nathan onion rings excellent they are a great thing for air fryers i think it'll i think they'll I, they're good i'll just put it like that the the uh, hooters were were different a little bit because they're a little bit wider but there's nothing wrong with these there's no doubt they're good the wings and you can see i ate this one and let me say and i'm not just saying this i promise you i really think that i like these better i wish baby doll was here to, to help to back me up on this but i think these the air fried version is, I'll say this, it's as good, if not better. And if you noticed, uh, I don't know whether this matters to you or not, but like here's the hot that, uh, that you buy in the jar, and there's a definite difference. But these are not blazing hot. Uh, I would never order three mile so uh, sauce, honestly, if not for be me doing this test. Well, that might become my favorite that is a really good flavor it's got a little it's got some heat no doubt and this is just a little bit milder now you can see it's different than than the ones we had at lunch or or maybe you can't tell with the camera but it's a little bit lighter i'm not sure that's showing up like i would like but uh and then you got the medium now that almost to me is not hot enough and i'm not crazy about real hot wings so i'm not going to try and eat one of those take my word I've already ate that one. That's going to be my favorite sauce. That'll be what I buy from now on. This batter, although uh, I do many, many wings without any breading, I do it all the time. 
but this batter works real well. I mean, you can see, you can pick any of them, it, uh, it's a very light batter. It's not a thick batter, and uh, it it doesn't, you know, it, it's just not, it's not overbearing, and there's not a lot of breading, and I think it works real well to hold that sauce. I think it works good. I, th that's one of my points. I think it works better than this. Now, this has been in the refrigerator, and go back to the video with me and her, but you, it looks a little thicker from the restaurant or when it's been dropped in hot oil. And I, I'm going to stop at that. Hey, thank y'all for watching my video. And uh, y'all come back to see me. Uh, this is a neat device. Uh, you've heard my, if you've watched my videos, you know I've, I've been, this is my third cook in it. I love it. It works great. It gives you a lot of opportunity to do two different things and stuff like that. But anyhow, Hooters Wings, I love them. Y'all come back to see me, like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.